Hey, Von Thossi here at the NTX competition here with a rook, upcoming rookie team, 10014 Rebellion, with a really unique robot, the Lions captain for, for, this, for this playoff competition going on right now. Really excited to talk about their robot that was inspired by 9128 8 Robotics. Really excited to talk about them here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. All right, Eli, talk to me about your intake and your you were inspired by it can, but talk to me about what modifications you also made. So the geometry entirely is inspired by it can, but the intake uh, is just two rollers, one on each side, and it can uh, intake from two directions. And the opposite spinning rollers spit it up through the, uh, through the bot and we added smaller rollers in the front and back to help push the note into the intake. Now, now with a good, to talk about the cycle of the notes, let's hand it off to Aaron to talk about the indexer. Aaron, tell me about the indexing system and how that leads into your shooter. All right, so our indexer here, uh, the intake pulls in, it goes here. We have a beam brake sensor. Once the beam brake is connected, uh, it will tell the robot that it has a note. Um, we update a constant uh, and it tells the entire robot that it has a note. So that sets the LEDs to orange, that gives driver feedback to uh, let us know that we do have a note. Uh, yeah, and then for your shooter? Yeah, so once we have a note, uh, we set our flywheels to run at 2000 RPM we do this in order to both preserve voltage and to increase how quickly we can spool up for actual shots. So running at full speed would pull a lot of voltage. It's not efficient. It, we've discovered that it just drains the voltage over the course of a match. So by having our motor, our wheels run at a decently high constant RPM, once we have a note, we start the spool up process and when we're ready to shoot, it runs full power much quicker. Let me show you. So, here you can see we're now running at 500 RPM. Actually, it's 2000. Then, when we're ready to shoot, when we press the shoot button, spools up and fires. How does your robot know what angle to be at when you're planning on shooting your notes? So, we use a pose estimator. Um, we update using April tags. Uh, Do you we have go, a custom vision system or anything like that? Uh, we're using Photon Vision um, with an Arju cam and an Orange Pi 5. Um, we're planning next year to add more cameras to give us more updates to our pose estimations because we found that sometimes they're kind of inconsistent because um, sometimes it just doesn't see an April tag. So basically, we get the position according to this camera. We have it right here. Uh, it detects April tags, tells it where it is on the field, and then we feed that value into our flywheel subsystem and our, uh, or our shooter subsystem and our drive subsystem. And we tell the arm what angle it should go at according to a shot map. Um, and then we tell the drive base to just go according to a math equation, what angle is facing towards the speaker. Love to see that you guys are also planning on expanding and learning what you guys currently know. Now, Eli, talk to me about the climber that you guys also have. Uh, I see that you guys have a bit of hooks going on over here. Tell me about that. So we wanted to still go under the stage, so we couldn't just have a straight climb that went like all the way up. So we uh, gave it a half inch clearance so that this goes here to reach to, to reach the 28 and a half, 28 and a quarter chain height. And then uh, this climb was 
inspired by 3847 Spectrum in with the angled chain part. And that allows us to... Can we move the angle up? To go to, go to the uh, amp position and have these low enough to lift the, the shooter wheels high enough to score into the trap. Love to see that. And do you guys have any issues with the different, with the curvature of the chain or do you guys have a specific spot that you like to be at? We would, we like to be around centered, pretty much fully centered. That's fair. Now, finally back to Aaron, talk about the programming that you guys also have. I heard that you guys have some funky autos. Tell me about that. All right, so over here, uh, all of our autons are set up so that every single path is a uh, separate path, like it's a separate segment that does a certain thing. So I have a path that tells it to go from this note to this note. This is the path that we've been running. Um, we need to speed it up in order to get the full five, but it gets four somewhat consistently. Um, yeah, we all of these are segments. They all work together and you can set up a dozen different autos with them. We have all of these different autos. This is set up with similar paths. This is set up with similar ones. This as well. All of them are able to be combined into more interesting paths. Well, Rebellion, really excited to see you guys continue moving forward. You guys have competed at three off seasons so far, TRI, Remix, uh, Remix and now NTX slash Themgals. Really excited to see you guys continue moving forward. Congratulations on fourth seed captain for this event. Really excited to see you guys continue on for this event and as well as your future. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. First Updates Now has become the Fun Robotics Network. Check us out at funroboticsnetwork.com and all the social links that you see above here. And check out some of our new merchandise options that are both fun and robotics related as well too, both on our website and right underneath this YouTube video.